Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, December 10th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Sanders Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Sevalde, Germany. A couple times in this podcast, I already talked about the relatively new DNS over HTTPS protocol, some of the problems with this protocol, and also how it's trying to protect your DNS queries from spying eyes. Now, one of the organization that has really been pushing this standard is Mozilla with its Firefox browser, and it has been an optional feature for quite quite a while now in Firefox. Starting in September, Firefox will start to make DNS over HTTPS the default, in particular in the US. So it will be rolled out in stages, starting with users in the US. And the way it's supposed to be configured is, by default, Firefox will use DNS over HTTPS, and only if these queries fail, then it will switch back to the traditional DNS API and will use the local resolver. Now, the privacy issue here is actually not sort of a simple black and white issue. Now, in particular as a home user, and this is really sort of more addressing home users, your DNS queries typically go to your ISP and they are unencrypted between you and your ISP. With DNS over HTTPS enabled, all these queries will go to Cloudflare and on the path to Cloudflare, they are using HTTPS, so they should be reasonably well encrypted. In the end, it sort of comes down to who do you trust more, your ISP or Cloudflare. Performance-wise, according to Firefox, the initial testing they have done by allowing people to enable DNS over HTTPS has shown that it uh, works well enough. So uh, we'll see how it goes once they make it the default. According to Mozilla, there are also some additional conditions they're trying to take care of if, for example, a user does use a specifically configured uh, DNS privacy scheme, something like OpenDNS or such, that uh, they will not use DNS over HTTPS in those cases. So it should only be used if you are using your default DNS provider. Now, as a system administrator, if you're concerned about this protocol, there are a couple of things that you can do. First of all, with crew policy, you can disable DNS over HTTPS in Firefox. Secondly, if you are intercepting HTTPS traffic, and well, if you're really concerned about encrypted traffic, you definitely should intercept HTTPS traffic, then you will be able to spot these DNS over HTTPS queries and you should be able to block it, which then again means that the browser falls back to the normal DNS API. As a simpler solution, it may also be possible to block actually the initial DNS lookups for these Cloudflare DNS over HTTPS endpoints. Not that I'm sure if this will work well in the final released version. We'll uh, see and uh, I'll probably experiment this with this a little bit once uh, Firefox actually makes it the default. And Telegram fixed a privacy issue in its software. Now, this particular problem wouldn't really be an issue in most messenger services just because Telegram sort of focuses on privacy. I think it's a bit more important. The problem here is deleted messages. Now, again, a lot of actually messaging services don't allow you to delete a message after it's being sent. And it's sort of assumed once it's sent, it has has been seen or saved by the recipient, there isn't really much you can do to call it back. Well, Telegram has a feature like this promising the sender that the messages will be deleted from the recipient systems. And exactly this didn't happen. The problem here was that the message was still stored on the recipient. It wasn't visible in the Telegram application, but still an user could just 
open up the respective file on their system and see the message right there. So uh, this problem has been fixed, a little bit of minor issue really in my opinion and uh, really only an issue because Telegram tries to sort of focus on this entire privacy aspect. And uh, talking about DNS over HTTPS, uh, there is now yet another bot, a PSI X bot that Proofpoint looked at that actually takes advantage of the DNS over HTTPS protocol. In this particular case, uh, the uh, Google DNS over HTTPS endpoint is used, and that one is hard coded into uh, the malware. The host name you're looking for here is dns.google.com. It actually doesn't use DNS over HTTPS, like for example, Firefox uses it. Typically, sort of in real life, you're supposed to use DNS over HTTPS by just sending binary data. In this case, it uses sort of the more manual uh, way of using JSON to encode the data that's then being returned by Google. I've also seen a couple of other claims, and I think I talked about them here on the podcast in the past, uh, where they claimed that malware uses DNS over HTTPS, but it really sort of more used their own sort of homemade API. This particular malware actually uses sort of the official RFC compliant API for DNS over HTTPS. And well, uh, this is it for today. Thanks for listening, and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.